the third and final topic I have is a waiver of in-person consular interviews. And so there's been a lot of people, there's a lot of rumors, a lot of confusion um, about what this means. So there was an announcement by the Department of Homeland Security in December of 2021. Uh, they, along with the, the Secretary of State, decided that because of the backlogs, uh, because they need to get interviews moving through, because they need to get cases moving through rather, that they are going to waive certain types of interviews in limited circumstances. So those interviews don't have to occur at the US Embassy or Consulate abroad. And so they're able to get caught up on their cases. So this is something that USCIS, United States Citizenship and Immigration Services has done uh, also is they have waived interviews in certain case types. And so USCIS is the agency that's here in the United States that processes, reviews, and makes decisions on applications here in the United States. So USCIS for a while has been waiving certain types of interviews. We've had clients who were lucky enough to have their in-person interview waived. And so now the, U the, the US consulates and embassies are going to try to do something similar and waive in-person interviews at US consulates and embassies. The confusion that I'm seeing is that there are a lot of people that are excited and that they're hoping, oh, does this mean that I won't have my, my fiance visa interview or my spouse won't have to go to their interview? Will we be able to get an approval without having to go to this interview? And the reality is, is those types of interviews aren't being waived. And this is some of the language from the Department of Homeland Security, uh, the Department of State announcement. I will also post this announcement, the link to the announcement in the Facebook group and on our YouTube channel so you can read the announcement yourself, but it really is a, a limited waiver of certain types of interviews, specifically employment-based, some student-based, um, and other types of renewals for non-immigrant visas. And so non-immigrant visas are essentially visas that are for individuals who don't have immigrant intent. That's why they call it non-immigrant, which means that the individual is coming for a short amount of time to complete a certain task, um, i.e. work or study at school. And so these interviews are being waived. There has been no announcement, no official announcement that they are going to be waiving fiance visa or spouse interviews. And that's likely because those are immigrant visas. Those are visas for individuals who are actually coming com to relocate to live in the United States long term. And so it's not likely that those will be waived. And the good news, though, is if they are waiving these interviews for certain individuals, and it's not for all of them, um, they have to meet certain criteria. Um, but if they're waiving these interviews, this is still good news for individuals who are going through the fiance visa or spouse visa process, because that means if the consular officer doesn't have to look at these cases or do an interview for these cases, that means the other cases that do have to be interviewed will be able to get to the front of the line faster. So it, it's still it's still good news, but I do want to clarify that it's it's not a waiver of the interviews for fiance and, and spouse visas, just to give you all clarity on that. But it still is good news for um, for individuals who are going through that process.